Yeah. Like you was early on that. Like, do you think that this big facade where when you put this dress on, like we just had Brandon T. Jackson on here. He was yeah. saying after he wore the dress, he felt like, you know, like, damn. He, because of his belief system, that wasn't a thing for him. But you, but you later done on, it he figured over that out over and over again, and, and we'll do it again. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk. Hey man, listen, DMX, man, I seen you that did R.I.P. to DMX, but yeah, I seen you did that skit long time ago uh -huh. on that show with him, man. Like that was a I, I didn't know that, and when I seen, I'm like, damn, me. You know what I'm saying? Glad to be home. I need to talk to you though, you know, because I'm, I'm having trouble with women. He, he, so, and back then, I'm going to bring the dress thing up and all that. Son, relax. First off, I'm going to put you up on that. <laughs> like I told you, you need to stay. Yeah. Like you was early on that. Like, do you think that this big facade where when you put this dress on, like we just had Brandon T. Jackson on here. He was yeah. saying after he wore the dress, he felt like, you know. Like he, because of his belief system, that wasn't a thing for him. But you, but as you later on, he figured over that out. and over again, and, and we'll do it again. Too. Because let me tell you something. That stigma, I don't buy into that. First of all, men in drag has always been a comedy staple, and and, and it's funny because this is when you read some of the comments and you see where people aren't educated. Because one of the talking points that black people bring up is it's emasculate black men. You don't see white men doing that. Are you out of your mind? They wear kilts. Uh, no, no, but forget the kilts. Dustin Hoffman in Tootsie. Mm. Robin Williams is Mrs. Was, Doubtfire. Exactly. Uh, Tom Hanks in Bosom Buddies. White guy, Milton Berle. It's just been a comedy staple, period. And then again, I use two words, balance and perspective. When you look at the landscape of all our leading black men in Hollywood, and first of all, men in drag has always been a comedic thing. That's why you don't see dramatic actors do it. But before we get to that, let's look at the actors. Anywhere from Denzel to Don Cheadle to Sam Jackson, Morgan Freeman, uh, Ving Rhames, Eddie Murphy. I could go on and on and on. Mm -hmm. Wesley Snipes. They play far more roles not in a dress right. than they do in a dress. Right. And in terms of positive black male imagery, We've played everything from superheroes to lawyers to doctors to judges, politicians, cops, loving fathers, devoted husbands. So in terms of balance and perspective, as long as the scales weigh heavily in favor of positive, positive imagery roles. of black men not in dresses, mm -hmm. then you can have a little bit of that. And a little bit of that is comedic. And then I say, be honest with yourself. You mean to tell me that Eddie Murphy one of the most iconic comedians in comedy who we all love and respect, if he decided to do stand-up again because of uh, uh, the Nutty Professor and Norbit Rasputitz, you've lost respect for Eddie Murphy. He's no longer an icon and a legend in our eyes. You won't go see any of his movies. Jamie Foxx, triple threat, actor, singer, comedian. You loved him when he was wandering and living color. Right. He won an Oscar. So you telling me now we don't respect Jamie Foxx? If Jamie come to your city to do stand-up, you're not coming to see him perform? No. You're not supporting his movies? Let's go down the list. Marlon and Sean Wayans, Martin Lawrence. The Martin Show, my aunt, was a beloved staple in the black community. So was you knocking him when he was doing Shanae? Was you knocking him when he was doing Mama Payne? Did you not support him when he did the three Big Mama movies? Uh, you know, again, Kevin Hart, Richard Pryor, who is the GOAT. Mm -hmm. His legend is tainted because he played a maid in the toy. Flip Wilson as Geraldine. Back in the 70s, when blacks weren't really on TV like that, he was considered an icon and legend because it was the first black man with his own show. And he created an iconic character in Geraldine. So now we don't respect Flip Wilson. We're going to put an asterisk in his name in the history books. You're lying. So Stop uh, lying. When, when, like, come on, man. Was he the first? When, 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 was when he you, the first? To have his own show? No, to, um, who was the first black man to put on a dress? I want to say him as Geraldine. Okay. Yeah. But I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, but certainly he was the first guy with his own variety show. Mm -hmm. You have nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. That helped. A lot where he put Richard Pryor on and help other black people get on. So that's what I'm just saying. This whole black man in a dress is to demean. I, I never bought into that what because the black men that we have or have had in cinema have given us every reason to not feel demeaned. And that's why I'm saying the men in dresses have only been strictly for comedy mm -hmm. and those scales 
are, are lean one way heavily than they do the other way. So let's have some perspective and keep some balance. Come on, man. Did you, uh, okay, when was the first time that you put a dress on? Was it on Mad TV or was it before that? And, uh, and, probably and Mad you, TV for and, the DMX kit. And yeah. when you did it, was it any second thought about it? No! Is you like, this just coming? I am secure in who the fuck I am. I'm the most getting this motherfucker on the planet, whether I get it for free or pay for it outright. I don't got on, I don't, I don't, that don't mean nothing to me. I have so many dudes hitting me up in my, in my Instagram, uh, Either calling me a f or gay or calling me a sellout, that sh don't mean nothing to me because I'm secure in who I am. I know who I am. I take care of my fam. I make sure my kids straight. You know, my my, my woman ain't complaining about nothing. I, you know, I live a great life. I do what I do. I answer to nobody. I'm my own boss. You know, I got millions. I don't give a. F but that one, okay, so we're in a dress, but then I, with researching you, I came across a video where you were doing, it almost looked like a music video, but. Only got one man, when I say my man, he really my man. It was, it's a, it was a spoof. Yeah. Uh, and, for, and my, for my Showtime special called Hollywood, look, I'm smiling. And at the end of it, I did a skit, because we all know this, you know, even before Lil Nas X, mm -hmm. we all know there's been homosexuality right. in hip hop. So I created a character named Big Bugger Boogaloo who was a gay rapper. Mm -hmm. And at one point, I said, uh, well, dude, I had a dude massage my back, and I said, and when I say my man, he really my man. Right. And I gave him a pet. Yeah, everybody is hitting me up on my Instagram, showing me that skit. Nigga, what's up with this? Right. What's up with it? Yeah, it was a skit. It was comedic. It's art. So, you know, but that's just, the black community has always been ultra homophobic. Mm -hmm. You know, I do a joke where I talk about getting a prostate exam. And I'm telling you immediately, I, I look in the crowd and, and uh, the brothers. You know, <laughs> and in the joke, I say, uh, black man, we've always had a stigma about doctors and hospitals. You know, uh, we, won't get, we won't get a prostate exam because the idea of a man sticking a, his finger in your ass mm -hmm. is, is homophobic. Because of homosexuality, and I'm going, it's a exam for your health. Mm -hmm. Get the procedure and a lot of y'all would rather die because you don't want to be associated with anything how f stupid is that you 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 are going to ignore your health because you are homophobic and then i later in the joke go uh you know it's funny when i tell that joke i can look in the crowd and i can see a lot of brothers like this y'all want to laugh tense. but you're fighting it right white guys don't have a problem laughing at that because white mm -hmm. boys play games with each other all the time so even when i address the elephant in the room that gets the laugh because the truth is in the details i know why y'all laughing the joke is funny but the mere idea of you laughing at it you think makes you how stupid is that but i gotta ask this part with that because i know you did that skit but how far would you take it in a movie role if somebody came up to you and said okay i have a movie role i need you to play this actor and you're going to be in bed with this other that's man. That's why I would probably draw the line. That's what I'm trying to see. How yeah, far you know what would I mean? you? Because that, you know, to me, yeah, that's another boundary. You know what I mean? Right. And, and maybe, listen, I, to an extent, that's where maybe my homophobia kicks in. Okay. You know what I mean? I mean, for the skit, for a comedy moment that lasted a second, a little mwah, that's, you know, right. that was that. But mm -hmm. anything in terms of being graphic with it or really getting deep in it, yeah, I don't, I, I, I wouldn't be comfortable doing okay. that. Okay. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.